Oh, this is a quick overview of the uh, Fluke 196 scope meter. Uh, this is the colour version, so it doesn't suffer with the uh, lines across the screen that the uh, 199 and the 196 non-C version seem to have a lot of problems with. Um, what I'm going to do is just run through a, few, a couple of tests on it. It doesn't seem to be a lot on the net. Uh, it is basic, I mean, uh, you know, teaching how to suck eggs here probably. But, but I thought I'd run through a couple of things, like uh, the probe calibration. A um, couple of voltage measurements and bits and bobs. So let's have a let's have a quick look. Um, now the probe I'm using is a um, it's a uh, Agilent Technology 1047C, um, which according to the spec is 150 meg. It's 10 to 1 at 10 meg ohms, and the capacitance is roughly um, 15 picofarads. Now I think they do recommend 13 or 14 for the uh, flute meter, but it should be alright. Um, so unfortunately my, when I bought this second hand it didn't come with any probes so let's have a quick look so if we put the power on okay it gives you a nice little message here about uh, extra options which I haven't sorted out yet it's been obviously reset by the person that sent it May close that um, and what we need to do is on here press scope um, select A so we've got we're into meter reading now. Now make sure the uh, obviously the input's on. Um, coupling DC is fine. Um, probe, press this button here, F3. Now we need to make sure it's set to voltage. The attenuation is set 10 to 1. Okay, so we use the cross arrows and then we go down to probe cal and press F4, enter. Okay, start of calibration 10 to 1 probe. Yes, please, let's do this. Okay, this is the annoying bit. Uh, can't get rid of that screen. Clear menu, don't do nothing. Um, can't seem to get rid of it. Anyways, um, on your probe, there's a calibration um, using the uh, supply tool. And what it's asking me to do is uh, connect the 10 to 1 probe tip of the red banana jack and the reference lead to the banana black, sorry, the black banana jack. Adjust the probe until a pure square wave is displayed. When ready, press F4 to continue. To continue with DC calibration. Okay. So, as you can see there, I can't get rid of that picture. All I can see is basically a little bit of the square wave. And obviously the connections are red to the end of the probe and the zero reference to reference on the probe tip. So if I do, if I do a little adjustment inside here, you'll see the... Uh, so, whoa, that's not a nice square wave. Um, let's go the other way. Whoa, that's not nice. So let's square that off. So, okay, so we'll leave it at that for now. That's about right. Um, and now we'll just press continue. Okay, automatic calibration process is in progress. Please wait, do not. Calibration completed successfully. Close. Okay, so we're all calibrated up on uh, channel A. Um, then obviously we need to do the same for channel B. Um, I am bought another probe yet, so um, a bit stuck on that. So um, I am looking around for um, one of the original uh, flute probes, but they are quite expensive, even secondhand. So, um, but as I say, there's a lot of functions on here. Um, if we go to back now to meter, um, we can go into measure, and you can select ohms, continuity, diode, temperature. Uh, AC and DC voltages um, basically you would just select which one you want to do if you want to do um, and then press enter and then from there on we'll just do a couple of basic measurements okay we'll do some basic uh, voltage measurements uh, obviously follow the convention at the top it tells you what to do just there uh, positive on the red negative on the on the black um, put your leads in. I'm using um, a Hewlett Packard 6632 as my reference. Um, I've got another device which we can go a little bit high voltage on uh, above it. Um, so we'll have a quick look at a voltage measurement. So make sure you're all set up correctly first. Click measure. Make sure you're selecting the right thing. Uh, at the moment we want uh, voltage DC. Uh, press enter for that. Um, okay, so let's enter it on here. Uh, voltage 5.0 enter and uh, current doesn't matter about that because we're not measuring current but we'll put point 0.2 enter uh, output on and there we go 
5.003. Now, this thing hasn't properly warmed up yet, but it's, it's saying 4.997. I have got to calibrate this, to be honest, but it's not far out, so uh, there is a slight uh, couple of discrepancies. Um, there is a manual mode on here, which you can press this, um, which you can then sort of change the range. So obviously that's gone below range, 5 volts, 50 volts, um, which is quite nice. So if we set uh, if we set this to uh, what was the maximum 20 volts, so we'll do voltage uh, also 20 volts. And, uh, and I pressed there. There we go. We jumped up. Um, it seems quite accurate. I have compared it against this uh, Hewitt Packard three double four zero one A, and it's all but bang on, to be honest. So. Um, you know, I mean, it's it's point zeros of volts out. So, so for what I need it for, it's fine. Um, really, I bought it for the scope function on it. Really, I mean, the voltmeter on it is a, is a nice addition. Um, I mean, it's uh, and obviously it's portable, so which really helps. Um, as I say, it is a, a hefty old unit. I mean, uh, I mean, I've got the uh, the back leg out on there. That's the infrared so if you want to do recording and download data um, it is a big old unit really but it's nice um, it'll be ideal for um, just some basic bench work and stuff and that um, I'm running out of space with all this equipment I mean I'll put it all in a rack at the moment and I ain't even got space for a um, oscilloscope that's the word I'm looking for um, I say some some very nice features on it really so um, I'll do some um, continuity tests and see what that reads out as, test some resistors and stuff. Um, but the, the, really, I mean, if you know how to use a meter, it's just making sure you set it up right, really. So, so just go into your measurement mode and then select what you want to do, really. Um, it is that simple, really. But there are, there are um, quite a few features on here that I'll probably never use, but um a lot of recording to be honest i mean i'm not likely to do that so uh but i've got i've got the equipment to do it. it came in a nice hard case a nice little purchase off ebay good price um so yeah i mean I, what i was more interested in is the fact that this version the color does not suffer with um black lines that you get across the screen uh, let's do some uh, basic resistance measurements um this is a decade resistance box. It's out of calibration. Um, it's a little bit old now, but um, it serves its purpose. Oh, so basically to do this, we're set to voltage at the moment. Going to measure, use the arrows, and go to ohms, select enter. Now, what I like to do is a relative measurement. So um, basically short the two leads out. Uh, which will give you that switch there on uh, the reference is 0 0.01 there so it just keeps that in the background format um, if I put it into this decade box now um, we'll go up to uh, what should we say 1k 1k and I don't forget we've got the leads the, the resistance in the leads as well um, let's try put that back to, that's 2k Let's go to 10k. Okay. Um, 100k. Yeah, seems to be working out okay. Um, that works for me anyway, sort of thing. So it's close enough for all one. Um, there is a calibration reference on there of one card. Let's try that, uh, which is across these two points here. It says it's one K. Um, it's reading slightly low on that. Okay, um, let's unplug that lead. Let's go to measure. Let's do continuity. Enter. All right, let's plug that into that lead, and we get a little beep. That's quite nice. Yeah. So that's okay. Let's plug that into there. Drop that back to zero. Okay. So it reckons 50 ohms. So let's try 
Okay, so that's 90 ohms. Let's go down here. There's 10. Oh, it's getting there, I suppose. 20. Let's jump 40. No, oh, we've lost the continuity sound there. So, drop to 30. So there's 30. 29 roughly. So let's. Oh, 31. 32. 33. Although it's saying 32 on there. Just going to try and see now when the actual um, continuity beep stops. And roughly uh, 35 ohms. Oh, oh, it's come back on. Let's try again. 36 ohms. So, yeah, we've lost it at that point. So, your beep stops around about 36 ohms. So, um, a nice little feature there. Uh, I mean the continuity and the noise. Um, not sure how fast it is. Um, it's quite a little bit of lag on it, to be honest. It's not. It's not as quick as your standard smaller meters. So you can sort of brush them across, and it doesn't pick it up straight away. So there's a little bit of lag, but it does work okay. Yeah, let's go back to measure. Um, there's diode temperature. I haven't got a temperature probe, so and. Um, I've tested the um, the other functions on here. They all seem to work. Um, the scope's not brilliant. It's a little bit furry the edges on it, but um, you got to remember this is quite a old piece of equipment. There, um, it's not as clean as the Siglent and the other stuff that I've got, but um, it suits bench work anyway. Uh, showing in a, a one volt peak to peak. Um, one megahertz signal there, square wave. Um, it's not the nicest looking of signals, but I don't know whether they're age related to this or what. But um, well, let's try sine wave. Um, I'm just running that from a signal. Let's switch it to sine wave and see what we get from that. Uh, it's just auto setting at the moment. That's not too bad. Showing one meg at uh, one point oh two volts. Um, uh, that's not too bad. Let's up the frequency. Uh, let's go to uh, ten meg. I think I'll try. I'll try and, no, yeah, we'll do ten. Ten meg. Okay, let's jump straight up to 10 meg. Um, so yeah, and the voltage is still right. So obviously we're impedance matching correctly here, so um, it's not a problem with that. Um, but it does seem a little bit furry the uh, signal on it. It's not the tidiest of uh, there are waveform options. Um, let's try turning glitch off um, into. Averaging, we'll try averaging on and uh, uh, we'll go for let's go mid range into eight. That's a lot nicer now, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot cleaner now. Um, we sort of tidied it up a little bit. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm quite impressed anyway. 